Hello, hello, this is Misty. This is Misty, yes. Let's get right in it. So I come to you today in the energies of why Mama Masculine is your child over 40 and Divine Masculine. Why are you still living with your mama? Excuse me, that is the question of the day. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you in the energy of knowing why is this man over 40 still living with his mother and why is his mother condoning this childlike behavior? Okay, so the first tarot that wants to come out today is the Four of Cups. And when the Four of Cups comes out in reverse, one is in the energy where they feel like they have a missed opportunity. They are emotionally aloof. Mm. These are people that often run their mouths a lot and say things that they often regret. What is the other energies that they are in, Holy Spirit? These people are in a Knight of Wands energy in reverse. And when one is in a Knight of Wands energy in reverse, they are immature. And when one is in an immature energy, yes, they show this this discord. This they show division. They often come to interrupt people's lives. This person is always in delay. Yes, this person may be impulsive. This person may be hasty. However, this person may be handsome. This person is very immature. And this person is always in an energy like somebody owed them something in this in and out energy. Yes. What is the other energies, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Yes, this person is in a three of wands energy. And when one is in a three of wands energy, they are seeking assistance from another. They are planning. They are strategizing. They are now seeing the big picture. They now has confidence in a partnership. Ooh. Mm, my nose itching. So this is about to be some drama. But I ain't the one to call some, so you ain't heard that I ain't the one to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. What is this issue of why are you over 40 still living with your mother? And why is your mother condoning this behavior? So, the first card that wants to come out is this person, when they act this way, they act this way in the energy because this person loved playing the victim. Okay, so we see why. One of the first arcanas that came out was Knight of Wands in reverse. Because a knight is immature. They have not made a king status being in and out somebody's life. So this person often plays the victim with others so that they can get sympathy. They play victim. Yeah, this person always also has daddy issues. This person, yeah, this person may be in the energy of them living over 40, living with their mama. Because they got a daddy issues. Yes. Mm-hmm. Why do this person got, I want to be nosy. Why do this person got daddy issues? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Why is my nose issue? Yes. Why do this person have daddy issues? Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This person has daddy issues because they set goals themselves to be a better father than they was to their father. And those things did not set out when they set these goals. And now they blame their father for not being in their life. Because they always in an energy where they is always fussing, always fighting, always in an argumentative, combative energy with their partner over money. They are always in an energy where they lie 
and pinky swear to others, knowing that they are lying, knowing that they're not going to be set at the truth. And this is one that's always in the energy where they're chasing. They never stay still. Again, the Knight of Wands energy, always in discord, dis discord, disruption, dis dis disruption, division, interruption, and dislay, dismay. And they always chasing coochie, yeah. This is one that's always in the energy where they chasing, yes. They never satisfied with what they have. They always in the energy where they with somebody, but they always taking up new prospects, yes. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today because we want to know why Mama Masculine cheats her child more like her man than her child. And she sees her child's after behaviors and she don't correct him. We would like to know why does she act like that? Oh, she acts like that. Hold on. Since I'm doing that one too, might as well do like that. we wanted to come out with first yes this is one that had undesired results darling this is one that been on the more show you are not the father so yes this may be a mama comic mama masculine may have been a comment in her day that did a couple of things with one or two men and the father the son the father whom she thought was the father wasn't the father and this is why divine masculine have daddy issues because he found out that his mama was a hoe this call is undesired results so divine masculine may have been in the energy of the person that he thought who he known was his father all his life and his father so that's why mama masculine may be in an issue and an energy where she has to shelter her child and keep him under her wing because she's still full of uh guilt that she was out there being a little home wrecker sleeping with tom dim and hank yes and she had no willpower to do better all of her child's life and now she feels like she owe her child something because she was in the energy where she fucked up as she was younger and didn't know who her child was and, then, and didn't know who her father was and she received bad karma for that and yes now the call come out is your ass has been exposed so that will be the start of mama masculine of why she feel like she has to shelter a over 40 year old man and still stay in the house with her because she messed up as a young mother and didn't know who the father was so she feel like she gotta shelter her child mm -hmm. and this is why divine masculine is always in that energy of pumping don't want to get his dick wet because he's always in a lustful simple like energy because the mama was in the energy too yes so we have a mama and a mama masculine divine masculine child that's always in a mess around energy because it is an inherited behavior from his mother oh you talk about the third parties entanglements too the pumping dumping playing people for a mess around the mom and son like the mess around they like to mess around. Mama and son mess around. Yes. So this is where they get their behavior from. Because divine masculine get that whole like behavior to himself where he can't keep himself to himself. He likes to juggle. Yes. The nigga drug. He is juggling yes he's always in that juggling energy because he got it honest he get it from his mama yeah and he is always in that energy where i hate because i'm insecure this is why divine masculine act the way he do he get it from his mama so you was dating the old him shim female 
And what I mean by that is that's a male that have them old female tendencies because they ain't never had no man around and they don't know how to act like one, okay? That's why when you females be sitting over there talking about you don't need a man, oh, yes, you do. Where did a child come from? He came from a man. You, a woman, don't know how to cheer a child, the, a male child, to sit on the, sit on the toilet. What male child sit on the toilet? You as a woman cannot potty train a male child to sit on the toilet. What kind of gay, excuse my mouth, excuse, excuse my mouth. What kind of gender fuck, fuck up is that? Girl, you can't teach a male child how to go to bed. I had to tell a female of mine's that. Girl, you need to have some type of... You need to tell your brother to take your son to the bathroom. Oh, girl, he's sitting on the top. What? That's a little boy. What fucking little boy... Then that, and if... Excuse me, mom. If it's mom. But what little boy sits on the toilet and go sit down? You need to tell your brother every time that he go to the bathroom... Take your son, take your son with them so he'll see what it looks like for a man to go to the bathroom. This is why little boys is messed up from women sitting over there saying, oh, they don't need a man. You making your man, you making your son your man. I was one in my life that said, I guess because my dad is still in my life, been in my life, all my life. So... I seen my father take my brother and them to the bathroom. It's things that women cannot teach a son. You can't teach, I mean, yeah, you can teach a son how to fight, but a woman, it's certain things you can't do. You can't teach your son how to fight. You can't teach your son how to hold his penis and go to the bathroom. Now, what woman can do that? Because you don't have a penis. This is why I say, y'all sit here and y'all hate these kids and y'all mess these kids up. Cause y'all don't want to like i had a girlfriend right now how could you be seven months pregnant and not want to deal with your baby father don't want him in your child's life don't want to invite him to the 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 nothing that has to do with a child but you was just dealing with him seven months ago i don't get that like you just bring before you even set this child in the world you set him up for failure then when this child grow up he be mean and angry at his father for not being around but you fail to mention you didn't want him in his life but i'm gonna mind my business shut up mystic mind your business mind your business just mind because that 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 does something to me that women have these kids and don't want they these men in their life but anyway I am un I am in a unhappy marriage or committed relationship. Yeah, this is how divine mask feel. Now he in the energy where he feel that all glitters is not glow. That story must be told. And that story told, yeah, you in an energy where um you not happy. Don't always put it on the other uh, spiritual belts. Don't always put it on the other party. Put it on your mother. The other party don't want to deal with your mother and her manipulating tactics. She is your mother that you are not her man. You are not married to her. When you get in a relationship, you are in relationship with somebody else. Mind your damn business. This is why I couldn't deal with the masculine, the mama masculine that I dealt with. Because she act younger than I did. You know what I'm saying? Start confusion. Who can mind? my ex up with other females like what mother do that and the thing was she was just like oh i knew you was better than my son so i didn't want and she told me this i know you was better than my son i didn't want to mess your life up so i paid him up with somebody that was better than him thank you mama i'm glad you did I, i'm glad you thought that much of me not to mess my life up with your son and his shenanigans again and now he would have called me but the mama hooked him up with the comment. But she hooked him up with someone that's like her, of like, like her. And now her and the comic don't get along. And she called me all the time because the mama have a lot of health issues. And she still called me because the son don't help her out and whatever like that. And I knew her before she whatever. This was a co-worker of mine. And she was coming to pick her son up one day. And I seen him. 
and we ind introduced each other. But I was always cool with her before then, and, and we had a pact that whatever go on with me and your son, I will still be cool with you. And I'm still with cool with Miss Linlin to this day. And it's just messed up that she in a medical situation and her son treated her like crap. But anyway, we talking about this masculine that we talk about. We got these energies on. I am hiding how I feel about you, Divine Feminine. So this is another energy why Divine Masculine don't tell Divine Feminine or hasn't told Divine Feminine how he feel because he too much in a pleasing energy with his mother. Yes, whatever I said, he did that shit. That's what Divine Feminine said. Whatever I said you did, that shit, and you cannot come back over here. So, fuck you, and I'm hiding how I feel behind you. Yeah, because you know that. I am in an energy of victory, and I don't want to be bothered. I am in an energy why, why can't things go back the way they was? Oh, no, we can never be like that, Divine Masculine. You are childish. You don't know how to be a man. You don't know how to put your mama in her place and tell her, excuse me, I am in a relationship. Stay out of this. I don't get in your uh, all your multiple relationships you got with Mr. Jimmy and Mr. Ronnie and Mr. Timmy. And don't tell you how to run those relationships, mama. So why you telling me? Yeah, that, that mama masculine that I had, she was off the hook. But we ain't even going to get into that. And Divine Feminine says, you fucked over many women because you wanted to be a whore. This is what you wanted to do, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You had a choice to be in those energies. You had a choice to be a whore. You chose to pump and dump everybody that you wanted to be around. Boy, the only thing that make my life complete is you can't sit your punk ass on a toilet seat. Because you got an STD. That is the energy I don't want to be in no more. Yes, I'm in the energy where I am dead. You liar. You liar. You liar. You liar. I am only there because of my children. Stop lying. You there because you want to be there. That's an excuse that you want to use when you want to deal with females and you still want to do what you do out in the street. Stop the lies. Yes, I don't want to be. I don't want to be your damn friend either. This is I don't want to be friends. Who said I wanted to be friends with you? I don't be friends with liars, cheaters, backstabbers, and people put me in the energy where people want to do uh, magic on me. People want to do STDs on me. I don't want to be, I don't, uh, we don't need them kind of friends. And I don't care about that. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Fuck you. I don't want you around me. I don't want you to get around with me. Remember me, Divine Mask, and I had to tell you all the time. Because your nasty ass with that stinky ass breath. Don't get so close to you. Your breath so stank. Give my goddamn nose heads a goddamn perm. Because your ass always want to be putting your mouth on people. Nasty. Nasty. What comes after 69 divine masculine? Toothpaste and goddamn mouthwash. Your ass act like you don't know how to use it. And yes, I am in the energy where I am slaying your ass because I don't want to be bothered. And yes, I am in a shipping energy where everything you say, I'm going to send that shit back. I'm going to send it back to my energies because I don't want them. I don't want them. I don't want you. I want a new in my life. I ain't got time for no drama. I ain't got time for no man ring -a ding dong Ding dong ding ring -a ding dong Ding dong ding ring -a ding dong Ding dong ding He wanna give everybody ding a ling It was not so long, so long ago She packed her shit and she said hell no She said go be with them bottom feeders Cause you know your ass is a cheater. Yeah. That's why she left you alone. Couldn't keep your dangling in your pants. So we had to leave your dangling alone. You and your dangling can sing a ringly ding dong on the other way, darling dear. 
That's what you can do. Mm. So what is the best part of divine masculine? Being a divine masculine and a gardener. They both love getting down dirty and nasty with them hoes. Yes. And divine masculine, you thought I ain't, I ain't forgot that your ass was cray cray. You ain't forgot about, I ain't, you thought I ain't forget about your mental illness. Yes, honey. I did not know about a bipolar one, one and a bipolar two until I met you. At least you can say, I know my motherfucking ass is hyper. I know my motherfucking ass been like this from day one. At least I admit my damn craziness and know that my grandma Miles draw me on my damn head. She done told me that a lot of times. And I done had all kinds of evaluations and things going on. Ain't nothing wrong with that girl. Her ass just hyper. Don't give her no damn sugar. All my life. Yeah, that girl hyper. Don't give her no sugar. Don't give her no red dye 29. No caramel 23s. Because if you do, her ass is going to be all over the place. Yes, I was one of those children that could not eat nothing. When I say nothing, I was not a Kool-Aid kid. Had to sneak it. Could not do Hawaiian Punch, could not do Red Skittles. Anything with color to it, I can't do it. I'm allergic to it. So, yes, this one has mental illness. This is the one to come around and say, oh, Divine Feminine, because she loud and always making joke. Child, I always been the goddamn class clown. I can admit, I'm simple as hell. Yeah, I'm the twin that got the simple gene. That would be me. But I, I always made good grades. I was the class clown, but I made good grades. That's why my mama let me cut the fuck up as much as I wanted to. Because, yeah, I cracked jokes, and I uh was the class clown. But guess what? When your ass called me to the front of the goddamn class, I knew what 10 plus 10 was. And I wasn't in the goddamn purple book, Believe. Yes, that was the crazy book. That was the book for the slow kids. I wasn't on the second floor going to the special aid with the special aid students that got pulled off for an hour or two every two days. Oh, that was you, Divine Man. That was you, Boo Boo. Remember, man, you went to school together. Yes, you was going upstairs with Miss Jackson now with the kids that had special aid because you was a little slow. When I said that, when we grew up with kids, you was like, Church Honor, you the only one that remember that. Yeah, I do. And, and again, that was a red flag. And I let them know that he got off the bus. Yes, this one, not to subject down. But this one, one that I was going with, I'm supposed to be the crazy one, right? But I'm trying to figure out, how do someone that's crazy have two master's degrees and two bachelor's degrees? I can't be that goddamn dumb. But you went to Bundy. If anybody went to Washington, D.C., Bundy was a school for children that had behavioral problems and they were a little sketchy slow, you know. They wasn't quite in, like, the short bus didn't come and pick them up, but they may have been slowly walking forward, you know, them kind of kids, but I'm going to mind my business. Because I didn't go to D.C. public schools. I went to Catholic schools. But I do know that Bundy was for slow kids. And I do know that you was up there on Brentwood Road with the slow kids. Jeff is a Bundy. And they did have a song about that. But I'm not going to sing it because it's embarrassing. But yes. He got you all fucked up, sis. That's what Divine said. You got me fucked up. Who you taking this to? I know you, boo. Boo boo. I know all your fucked up. See, see these new bros, they think you got all this money and you doing all these things. No, I know you broke in the bag of glass in the trays. You cannot get over on me because I know the deal. Pickle and everything is not kosher with you. Yes, we know your ass is crazy. You a lunatic. Your mother is psycho Susan. And you follow right in those traits of your mama. Your mama is an MF and savage. And you a savage too. See those whole like behaviors is nothing new to you. Because you get it from your mama. Mm-hmm. 
trying to sit over there and talk about me and say I'm perfectionist. No, I'm not a perfectionist. I just see through your bullshit and you get mad at me because I call you out, mama masculine. Uh-huh. Now, you want to say, want to talk about me? Oh, that divine feminine, she was a good one. Oh, that divine feminine, she got her ass up and she went to work every day. Oh, that divine feminine, she was spiritually sound. I think you should try it with her. I think you should mind your business, lady. I done moved on. Thank you. Please do not give your son advice to bring his ass back over here with him. Because we don't want him and we don't want to deal with you as a mother. Because you fucked up and he fucked up too. Ooh. Yes, that is the tickle. That is the deal pickle. And we know that is not kosher. We done got away from you and your crazy ass dysfunctional family. Yes. Mm. And you, undercover, mama masculine fake, and don't want to see me win. And I'm going to say, if you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. So, yeah, that's why you have an over 40-year-old person still living with their mama. Because they mama got issues, and they do too. So, two people with issues, bird of a feather, flock together. That's why the mama and the son is always at each other's throats. The mama don't want him to have a relationship because she wants the son to herself. Mm-hmm.